How's it going YouTube? I am going fishing today. Gonna be an interesting day. It's 5.36 a.m. I'm gonna take a kayak fishing in a place I've never been before. I'm honestly not even sure if you can take kayaks or if it's even legal to fish at this place. I will find out when I get there. I just saw it on Google Maps and thought uh, I'd give it a shot. Oh, there's someone. Don't wanna hit them. So stay tuned guys and enjoy the video. A few moments later. I am beyond lost right now. I'm, I'm in the middle of a neighborhood. Looking for this pond, I have no idea where it's at. My Google Maps still thinks I'm in Canada, so that's always helpful. So I'm just gonna drive around, hopefully find this lake quick. So I made it to the pond, 6.15. It's still extremely early, the sunrise isn't until like 6.50. I have no idea why I got up so early. I was just way too excited to go fishing. I've been fishing in like 12 days, basically since Canada. But I'm gonna go down to the lake, we're gonna see what this uh, this lake looks like here. So I've never been here, found it on Google Maps, which is always a kind of a fun way to discover new places to fill where this grass is wet. We've got some good news. Fishing is legal here, so I don't want any see any hate comments about me breaking the law. As you can see, I brought a kayak with me. So I've only been kayak fishing once, and that was not out of this kayak. This is actually my own kayak. I've got two of them now. And this is like one of the standard paddle ones, uh, not the pedal one. So it'll be interesting. I've never really fished out of one of these before. I'm just gonna kind of test it out, see what I think about it. Hopefully I don't fall in the water. That's always a possibility. And hopefully I stick a freaking giant. Bingo. All right, well, it's now like 627-ish. You guys get to see it's getting light. There's a ton of vegetation down there, uh, but I got my kayaks here. I'm rocking a hat cam right now, so I don't know how well this is gonna work, but basically I have to take this kayak over down the hill into the lake. All right, I got my rods and some tackle boxes. I'm only bringing three poles, which is weird, because I don't think I've ever fished with three poles, but it's what you gotta do when you're fishing out of a kayak. I don't have any rod holders really yet, so we're just gonna have to do for now. There we go, got some poles here, sticking out of the kayak. Now I just need to figure out how to get it in the water. I don't even know how to launch this thing. I probably should have done more research on kayak fishing. Oh, and we're off, boys. Oh, this should be fun. Perfect morning for fishing. So far, so far we're floating. So, we're doing all right, we're doing something right. All right, we're, we're gonna start out with the frog here. This looks like a, quite a froggy area. Setting the hook on a frogfish out of a kayak though, that is gonna be pretty interesting. Some bait fish skipping up there, it looks like. What the heck is that? Got some fighting birds over there. Got some bird action. Really have no idea how deep I am. I definitely should have brought like an eye bobber or something. But uh, we're just gonna go to this bank, start chucking a frog around for a little bit, see what happens. All right, let's keep moving. I've got to find a big old bass. Well, so far I've been fishing about 30 minutes. Not a single sniff. I'm gonna keep moving. I know there's got to be fish biting. There's always fish biting. Oh, salad. Gonna keep paddling around. Keep tossing that frog until that sun gets out. Once that sun gets out, I'll probably switch to Sanko. Sankos in little bodies of water like this, you should do pretty well. Oh, got one. Oh yeah. First fish, finally. Oh my gosh, that took forever. Come here, buddy. Not a giant by any means, but I'll take it. After a slow frog bite morning, I'll take this buddy all day long. It took 45 minutes for that dude. We're slowly, slowly figuring these fish out. See you later, buddy. I'm definitely seeing a lot more fish activity on this side. A lot of fish are cruising around. I can see a bunch of ripples and bait fish flickering and stuff. It's a good, good sign. Definitely a good sign. We'll see if we can capitalize on something bigger than that last one. Would be preferred. But like I said, at this point, I'll take, I'll take anything I can get, dude. Cujo, easy. Hey, check this out. Ooh, I like this. See, this is, this right here is why I go kayak fishing. Look at this spot. This is a spot there's no way you can get here from like the bank or nothing. Oh, I hear running water. This could be lethal, fellas. 
This could be lethal. All right, I'm prepared to catch like a six pounder. If I'm gonna catch a giant, it's gonna come right out of here. Oh God. Oh, that was a giant. That was a toad. That was a freaking giant. Oh gosh. I was not even paying any attention at all. Oh, I knew there'd be a big girl back here. All right, I'm gonna catch this fish. Shoot, <laughs> missed it again. Third time's the charm. Oh no, oh God, I missed him. I missed him. All right, all right, there's a slight chance he'll bite again. Not very likely, considering I actually got a piece of him on that one. That was my fault. That was so dumb. Gosh, that was so dumb. That was a big fish. All right, well, since I suck at fishing, gosh dang it, that sucks. That was a good fish. So this is my only, my only option here, and that is to tie on a Senko. And the reason I'm doing that is because the Senko is just an easy meal for them. So that he, he's probably a little shy from that frog now, uh, especially after I hooked into him and then lost him. So I'm going to tie on a, just a weightless Senko or a, a lightly weighted Senko and just pitch in there. That's basically my last, my last shot of catching this fish. And then I'll probably go fishing for maybe an hour or two on the main lake and come back and uh, try to catch him again. All right, that's what I ended up, go, ended up going with, weightless black and blue Yamamoto Senko. All right. This is my last chance at catching these, this fish. That's a fish. Oh gosh, he got me wrapped. He got me wrapped, I don't, know if he, I don't think he's still there though. I am really, really bad at kayak fishing. All right, well. I had a fish. I think it was that big one, to be honest with you. He uh, he ate my Senko as it came off that rock. It took me a second to realize that he was actually there. I saw the swirl, didn't think he bit it. He did, and wrapped me around that post. And uh, he got off, so I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna keep fishing the main lake. I'll come back here in maybe a couple hours. I'm just gonna throw this weightless Senko around, see what happens. Whoa. Oh, that's a fish. First cast on the Senko. Ooh, not a piggy. That's better than the first one. Check that out, folks. We might be onto something. They may eat the Senko. There's a fish. Whoa! Check that out. He had that thing for like five minutes. I'm just over here twiddling my thumbs. I got a bass chomping on my Senko. Another pipsqueak on the old Sanko. Sanko is a fish catching machine. Unfortunately, sometimes these are the size of fish that catch us, but I'm determined to catch a giant sometime today. See you later, buddy. There's one. Woo! Finally, finally hooked into one of these dang things. Oh, he threw my Senko. Come here, buddy. Still not the size we're looking for. He's not too bad. A little pound and a halfer. See ya, bub. 20 minutes later. Well, guys, Big Bertha, not there. Doesn't want my frog. I missed out on a good opportunity earlier this morning. I blew it. Uh, guess I learned my lesson. I don't really know what that lesson is, but... I just need to not do what I did earlier. Hope you guys still enjoyed the video. I'm going to continue fishing all the way back to the truck, load up the kayak, and then I'm going to go over my rod, my reel, my line, all the setups that I had, what lures I was throwing, why I was throwing them, where I was throwing them, that type of stuff. Hopefully you guys can learn something. Stay tuned. Made it to shore.
All right, guys, so I'm off the water. Kayak loaded up in the tundra, ready to go home. But you guys know it's a fishing and flare tradition most of the time to kind of go over exactly what I was doing to help you guys catch more fish. So I came to a pond. I've never been here before and I've never kayak fished out of that kayak in particular. That kayak is a Pelican Catch 120. I'll drop a link down in the description of their website. You can go check them out. So it's the first time I've ever been out of that kayak, which is just like a traditional paddle kayak. And it really wasn't as bad as I thought. Everyone kind of talks about them as if it's really, really bad. It's really not that bad. It, I mean, it was a lot of fun, definitely a challenge, definitely a workout. And I caught some fish. I know they weren't the biggest fish on earth. Trust me, I know. I want to catch big fish just as much as you guys want to see me catch big fish and you don't want to see tiny fish and I don't want to catch tiny fish. But sometimes it just happens. That's just how life goes sometimes. You know, I'm, I'm so fortunate that this is my job. This is my life to be able to go fishing on a Wednesday morning. And you know, any day that I can get out on the water and share my experience with you guys and hopefully teach you guys something, even if you leave here with one thing, just one thing to help you catch fish the next time you guys go out, that is a win in my book any day. So what I did is I started out frogging. You know, that didn't really work. I don't know why. I, it totally looked like a frog in lake. Uh, the only thing I can think of is the mud, the water is very muddy. It is straight chocolate milk. It's been raining a ton lately. And maybe for some reason that it's got them tucked up in the weeds so tight that they won't even hit a frog. I don't really know. But I did catch one on a frog, so I kind of go over that. And this was a, uh, a live target frog with a, this is a castaway Grassmaster braid rod, which is a 7.3 heavy. And the reel's a fast gear ratio, a three to one gear ratio. And I've got 50 pound Seaguar Smackdown tournament braid. So you guys know, I mean, frog fishing is pretty simple. Unless you guys are new to the game of bass fishing, I don't really need to explain a whole lot other than I was throwing it next to vegetation. And uh, the, if the fish are hiding in it, sometimes they'll go out and hit it. But the setup I caught the other few fish on and missed quite a few fish on was this dude right here. That's a weightless Yamamoto Senka. You guys see me throw this all the time. This one is black and red. I caught them on black and blue today. It didn't really matter. The reason why I went with black, water's dirty. Anytime you're fishing dirty stained water, you wanna go with a darker color. For some of you guys that may not make any sense, what happens if this black Senko goes in the water against that like light brown chocolate milk color, it'll stand out better than any other color. And I was throwing this on a seven foot Castaway Tyrannus Mag Heavy with a 40 pound braid. So you think that might be overkill for weightless Senko. Here's the deal though, if you're kayak fishing, this is something I learned from Kayak Bass and TV. And if you guys don't know who that is, that is Chad Hoover. He's got a YouTube channel and a website. I'll drop the links down below. That's the dude I've learned everything I know about kayak fishing, which I don't know a ton. I just haven't really taken the time to go watch a lot of his videos and read articles and stuff. But he's he, what, the one thing he did teach me was to use overkill gear when you're kayak fishing. So use braid instead of fluorocarbon whenever possible. Use heavy instead of medium heavy, that type of stuff. Reason why is because when you're on a kayak, instead of a boat, when you set the hook, your kayak moves towards that fish. And anytime you're moving towards that fish, that's less tension you can put on penetrating that hook through the fish's mouth. So if you set the hook and your kayak moves towards them, that's less power going through that hook. Versus if you're on a giant 21 foot bass boat, you don't need braid all the time. The real seven five to one gear ratio, just anything high speed, um, anything will really work for that. And the hook, I believe is like a four out round bend. And again, Yamamoto Senko. And I was just pitching that thing around grass edges. So the frog I was throwing up in the weeds, up in the grass, that was on the edge. So you would you let it sink and it would sit there and kind of quiver its way down and that's when I'd get a few strikes. I didn't miss a lot of fish. I probably missed four or five fish today. So I mean, in reality, if I hooked everything, I should have close to like eight to 10 fish. None of them were giants except for that one. I missed that one. That one really killed me. I was, I, I mean, I'm pretty pissed. There's not a lot I can do. I'm new to the kayak thing. Like I said, I, I just, I'm not very good at it yet. But that just really sucked when I missed that fish because I'm pretty positive it's a giant. I, I, I might say that every time, but like, just the way they hit, usually giant fish when they hit frogs, it's just one big boil. It's not, it's not like a giant explosion and stuff. It's just a boil. It's just, they don't need to exert that much energy. I don't know. All right, I've talked quite a bit. If you guys have any questions, you let me know. Drop a like. If you guys like kayak fishing, you want to see more, I'm, I'm really trying to evolve as, a, as an angler. I mean, I've grew, I grew up fishing out of a boat all my life and kayak fishing, you know, I'm 19. I've been fishing all my life. It's something I really haven't done before this year. So. I like to share my, my journeys with you, although this was not the best video. Trust me, it was not the best video. It's gonna really be a struggle to make this into a good video. The fish size just were not there, the quantity was not there. But I love sharing moments like this with you, any life lessons, any, any lessons in fishing in general. I love sharing that with you guys. So really, I do appreciate you guys dropping a thumbs up. Throw a comment down below. What do you wanna see? Uh, you know, you wanna see more kayak? You wanna see me go to a pond instead? You wanna see me go to a lake? Go river fishing, go treasure hunting with Jake R. Almighty. I don't care, you let me know. You guys let me know. All the support you've given me over the last couple months and throughout my entire YouTube career has been just incredible. Incredible. Alright, peace!